Welcome lure enthusiasts. If this is your first time here and you want to see how I make a lure like this, stay tuned. Also, please subscribe and click the notification bell so that you don't miss anything. My idea for this lure is to improve upon the glassfish lure I made a while back. I'll put a link up for you to check that out if you haven't seen it yet. What I'm starting with is the mold that I had made for the three inch minnow lure. Again, I'll put a link up for that one as well. I'm gonna blend these two concepts together for this new lure. The problem with these clear resin lures is the lack of buoyancy, which makes them a little bit unstable. You really need buoyant material on top and weight below to keep the lure upright in the water. What makes this lure really unique is that I'm going to add a swim bladder below the spine, just like a real fish, which I don't believe I've seen done anywhere else before.
to start making the bones to attach to my spine here and I'm going to fall back on an old trick that uh, I used back when I made plastic models and things like that. If you take these leftover plastic bits from a model you can actually make really thin pieces out of it and I'll show you how to do that. Let's uh, cut a piece Once that cools, you can just cut it loose and you've got a little bit of a tapered bone shape. Anyway, this is a technique that I used um, making model ships. You can use this to make um, the rigging and the lines for ships and things like that. Makes a pretty decent bone. start off with a little bit of opaque white. Now I'm going to put a little bit of this pearl white over that just to give this a little bit more of a transparent bone look like a fish has. Gonna need to let that cure for probably about 24 hours and then we can check on it.
I've mixed up some more of this uh, True Coat Epoxy. And it's time to unify these two pieces. But what I'm going to do is paint a very thin coat on the inside where we've carved. But we only need a very, very thin coat on the inside. I'm not looking to fill it back up with, with epoxy. I just want to put enough in there so that it uh, makes it clear once more. You can kind of see it starting to work there. Now, to join these two, I'm going to put something that's going to set up a little bit quicker here. I'm going to put some of this uh, Instacure, the thicker version, on this wire here. And real quick, I'm going to put a big glob right here. And then put these together. It may take a few more coats on the outside to get it fully unified but I'm gonna put this on the wheel right now and let it let it spin let it cure and then uh, we'll see if it needs uh, another coat or two as you may know if you've ever left a comment for me I've been keeping a list of ideas of things to make I want to hear from you about what you want to see me make next I've narrowed it down to three choices for this next video I'm thinking of making either a lipped crankbait a shad glide bait, which was a viewer suggestion by Roy White. I appreciate you leaving a comment for me. And the third option is something a little bit different that I haven't done before, but I've kind of been wanting to make a miniature wooden sculpture of a bass, uh, which wouldn't really be a lure, but it would be carving and stuff like that. So in order to cast your vote, please leave a comment down below. And the option with the most votes is going to be what I make next. And as always, remember to check out my website, for products that I use in my videos, for Zimtex merch like this shirt that I'm wearing, and much, much more. If you like the content I'm putting out, Please like, share, subscribe, and give me a thumbs up so I can make more of the stuff you want to see. Also, remember to leave a comment to vote on what you want to see me make next. Thanks again everyone for watching, and I'll see you on the next one.